A lot of you guys don't really know unless you guys been watching. The thing about deployments is you never want to start counting too early. You don't want to start counting out when you got like seven months to go, six months to go. Sometimes five, give or take, depending on how fast the months go to you. But we, we got some months to go. A lot of us on deployments like to have something to look forward to. So that's why I start counting. The counting, it allows me to have enough foresight to, to look forward to something that that like going back home like being being and deploy all the time is, is lame bro like the money is good the money's nice whatever the case may be you meet new people but this deployment life is not fun you can make the fun out of it but it's not like you miss your family you miss doing stuff with your family and when you're always deployed and you're always doing stuff like overseas you miss your family you miss the people that you care about and it takes a piece out of you i I just want you guys to understand that when I go through my phases of ranting, just understand where I'm coming from. I'm deployed and I miss my family. I've been gone for over, I mean, at the end of this deployment, I'll be over 18 months overseas and that's not easy. And a lot of you guys complain about my job is hard and, and I don't want to wake up to go to my nine to five, man. Imagine being working, doing the nine to five, but the army style, you chain of command and you're overseas for 18 months at a time, a deployment, five months back in the states and then deployed again next time you want to complain about oh my job is this and that think about it from a person who not just in the military people who are away from their families for a long periods of times to earn a living for their families it's crazy i, I don't want to come off like i'm better or my struggle is stronger than yours but just realize how civilians complain complain listen to how you guys come off sometimes it's not to throw shades but you guys have it really really well and you guys Look at people in the military. Y'all be like, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Understand, like, we really go through it. Certain branches go through it more than others. We're all non-forces, so we all share a, a, a sort of a shared struggle, but certain branches got it a little bit harder than others on a, on a bigger scale. If you were in the military, you would understand. But just civilian sh struggles are just not the same in terms of the people in the military struggles. Now, civilians, you guys have your own things that you have to battle, working getting a job and then finding a job but keeping a job and then paying for your bills you got if you have children you got to pay for your children's lifestyle and the army you have struggles and it's similar to that but imagine you had not the job struggle finding a job or bills i mean even in the army you have bills to pay if you live off post and you don't live in the barracks think about the army's perspective you have children you're away from them for months at a time you possibly may have to go to the field we have to listen to chain of command who sometimes is not for our best interest. And sometimes we have to just do what we gotta do for because we gotta be here at this time. And they know that we were at another mission last night at 10.30 at night, and we gotta be back up at three in the morning. We gotta do it. Sometimes you have to deal with chain of command like that. And there's nothing that we can do because we're under law. So it's the only thing, it's only so much that we can really do. So just understand that when you, the next time you wanna complain about Oh, my boss said I can't go downstairs to the first floor to greet the new guests. Well, okay, that's something nice to complain about, but I mean, that's cute. But I mean, like, think about it from other people's perspectives. And, and, and even when it comes to me, I don't want to seem like I'm the only one where like, we're, we have the most struggles. There's people in other countries who are struggling, that are going through slavery, are going through war currently, and they have to be in that life. They have to understand, they have to be embedded that's who they are that's what they're dealing with and i understand that even from my perspective today that even though it, it's not easy it's hard for me I'm, I'm, away, I'm away from my family and friends there's people who are in certain countries who family members have died from wars currently going on and people who are in slavery currently who are being stripped from their families and working for low wages so am i even my struggle like you can you can you can think about what's going on with you. You can have your little hissy fits, but just always keep that in mind. Like it can always be worse for me. So just be grateful for what you have. That's more of the story. Just be grateful for what you have. Messy bed. Again, don't judge me. This morning I had to be up really really early again, but I ain't gonna sleep until late last night. Not because of the army, but because of me and what I decided to do. So yeah, I just didn't do that. <laughs> A lot of you guys are watching my videos and I would love for you guys to subscribe, like join the family. This family does not grow without you guys.
I really want you guys to subscribe. Please, please, please share with your friends and family while you guys sit and relax and watch my videos. I try to make them as entertaining as I possibly can. I don't have an editor or a videographer, but if you guys can find me one or if you so happen to know somebody who is, or if you are one, please let me know so we can get into contact, start working together because I got a lot of things to deal with. I'm a solo man working on these on all of these different things that I got going on, whether it be me being in the military and my YouTube channels and other endeavors. I'll do like my little job interviews and we can start seeing how we can start working towards that. In the meantime, I can't complain about life. I can't complain about anything. Hold you, my face feels disgusting. In the morning, so nobody really should be in the bathroom, but also I've been dealing with ammo so much today already. I feel like ammo. I just feel like just brass and ammo. What we got going on? I'm probably gonna break down a little skincare routine, all that other stuff going on. How I maintain, how I look, whatever the case may be. As y'all can see, I gotta make this extra trip outside just to go wash my face and go to the bathroom. Wait, that's the part of being in the military. Lucky nobody. Yeah. Oh, it ain't no hot water. Nothing to do about no hot water. Oh, it's getting hot. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. Let's go. It's smoking I guess we can do a little voiceover. So first things first, I always wash my hands before I touch my face when I'm washing my face. That's what you gotta do, it's mandatory. If you don't do that, you're kinda disgusting, I ain't gonna lie to you. As y'all can see, I'm looking in the camera, looking at my waves, <laughs> crusty, crusty, crusty. But you know what it is, what it is. You know what I'm saying, ooh, get the hair wet, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just break it down the whole little routine. This kinda like what I do in the morning and at night. But you know, put some water on my hair, you know, get the, the, the hair moisturized. You know, sometimes my hair is dry, so I gotta put water on it. Uh, Tip my reminders for you guys. I don't, I'm not perfect at this. I just do what I think is right, but I could be wrong. So if you guys, females out there, do not judge me. Do not come come at me in the comment section because I don't know what I'm doing necessarily, but I'll be trying. Take off my shirt because I want my shirt getting too wet. Continuously put water on my hair so that my hair can get moisturized. <sighs> yes, and um, I know the forks are forking right now in my waves. If you don't know what a fork is, it's when your waves are not connecting all the way around. So continuously putting i don't know what i'm doing right now looking for probably my uh face shoe oh my brush 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 and i'm gonna brush around my hair until i get all the way around the crown and then i make them waves pop so that's what i'm doing right now and yes hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kissed by the way, just got in town, and I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky, ruin my 
Right here in this video, I look like you can't tell me I don't look like no 360 man, 360 Jeezy man. If y'all if y'all know, y'all know who 360 Jeezy is, man. I don't gotta say too much about bro. Now here I'm I, don't, I, I just I'm trying to I'm trying to put the the oil into my 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 scalp. This is the tea tree oil, the premium oil. This is um some really good oil. It does really good job. It does a really good job with with um, just making sure your scalp is moisturized. Here I'm trying to brush all of it down. And just make sure that it stays evenly distributed throughout the, the hair. I'm washing my hands now because I gotta. Uh, before I do anything, I, you know, I got I gotta wash my hands. I don't like touching my face with nothing. This is the quick action that I use to make sure that uh, you know this is a good a good thing to use in your face. This is all a, everything that you see on this face facial uh, cleansing was a gifted to me by somebody very special to me. So they you know they were tired of seeing my face looking all busted and crusted. So they made sure that I was I was coming correct. As you guys can see, this is you know this is just a part of the process, scrubbing all of the 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 face wash in because you know you gotta make sure you get all angles, even the temples, even your forehead, your your, your T zones, bottom of your chin, your cheeks, all that. Make sure you get it all man. Uh, but this is uh, what I want to say is this this is very, very 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 crucial now I'm rinsing my face off with cold cold water the water was already kind of cold but you can see it was heating up so I'm rinsing my face off with some cold water Ooh, look at the struggle man the struggle is real let's see now I'm going for this this is what you put on the thing and you scrub your face uh, again I'm not too hip to all of this this uh, cleanse and stuff I just be saying stuff you know because I don't really know too much about nothing I just be saying stuff but I put a, bit on, a little bit onto the pad, and then um, I try to scrub my face, and then I scrub my face, and then I just make sure I get all my my zones that I just previously had went over with the face wash. Make sure I get everything the, the jawline, the under the nose, the nose. My nose is big, if y'all can't tell. My nose is huge. The neck, the back of my hair, because the the back of your neck be dirty too. I'm telling you, if you don't if you don't look at nothing, as you, yeah, as you can see, the back of your neck be dirty, and you don't be cleaning it because you're nasty. So make sure you get every part of your face and your neck because the neck is a very underappreciated area. After that, boom, that's what you get. And disgusting. Crazy. Once you're finally done with all of that, you, you grab your tea tree oil again and you're going to rub your hands with it. Make sure you put it on your face. After you washed your face with cold water and you put this on your face, it feels so, so good. And then, yeah, after you do everything, you do, you do this stuff, it feels so, so good. It's just a good feeling to know that you have a clean face. You you rinse your face off with the cold. You're closing the pores and you're putting this onto your, your skin. Your face is moisturized. You feel refreshed. You feel rejuvenated. And it's just a great, great feeling. As you can tell, boy, I'm still ugly, boy. Um, but that's, you know care of our face, take care of our hair. We got to make sure we, we can change the things that we can change and we, we can control what we can control. So if you guys are watching this part of the video, I highly recommend liking, sharing the video and, and just being and showing your support for the kid. But let's get back to this video. So as you guys can see, I'm just trying to maximize my, the moisture and just make sure all of the oil products is in the skin. Oh, now I do. Now I do. I'm gonna go put this up, all right? All right? Huh? Nothing? What you doing? Not doing enough, right? Not doing enough, right? As we got here, we got some food. <laughs> a little bit of basketball over there. Okay. The cookies are curry. With a little Christmas cookie. <laughs> With some pineapple juice. With some pineapple juice. 